Okay, so um, as you can see, I've got my own little wire flower here, and in the spirit of friendship, I'm going to give it to Mac. Oh, you too sweet girl. But it's because you have to introduce me now. Oh, welcome <laughs> to the lab of the very, very mad scientist. Thank you so much. I love doing that. <laughs> Cute little intro there. <laughs> okay, so in today's experiment, seeing as though we are talking about batteries, we're going to make ourselves a voltaic battery. Now, mm -hmm. voltaic battery is just a nice word to say that it's a battery that takes uh, liquids or chemicals and converts it into electricity. So, for today's experiment, what you are going to need is some wire. Now, you can use a wire hanger, you can use paper clips, or because we had street wires on the show today, I've yeah. decided to use a wire flower. Then what you are going to need is some copper wire and you're going to take your wire and you're going to strip it on both ends to leave some of the wire exposed. You are also going to need a lemon. A lemon? Yes, no. And this is not what I got from Mom's fridge. I actually went to the shop and got it myself. <laughs> okay, you're going to need a lemon. And here's why. How voltaic batteries work is that you have two electrodes, which would be now your copper wire and your steel wire, if you want to put it that way. Mm -hmm. And you are going to need an electrolyte. And this is what causes, well, basically the conductor of the chemical reaction. Yeah. And in this case, the electrolyte is the acid inside of the lemon, right? So now, in order to get the juice flowing inside the lemon, what you want to do is you want to either massage it or rub it or that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You can even drop it on the floor a couple times, but the safest method is to actually just clear a bit of space on a table and then all you do is you Just roll lemonade. your lemon a couple of times. As if you're making lemonade. As if you are making lemonade, but you don't <laughs> want to break the lemon and you don't also don't want to make it too mushy. It's just to get the juices flowing inside. Okay. okay, so now what you're going to do is, and I've already made a little hole for mine. There it is over there. You're going to take your copper wire and you're going to stick it in on like one that. end of your lemon like this. Okay, I actually think I'm going to switch to using the other lemon over here. Right, so you just pop it in one side of the lemon like that. Okay. And then you take this wire over here and you pop it into another side of the lemon, say like over here. Yeah. Okay, now how I'm going to prove to you that the electricity is flowing is by using our good friend, the, the voltmeter. Volt yes, we do like the voltmeter. So here's my two ends of the voltmeter. There's my lemon and Mac, I want you to hold that up so that the people at home can see exactly what's going on. As you can see, the numbers are quite low, but watch this. As soon as it's touching, we have got almost a full mm. volt of electricity flowing out of one lemon. My which goodness. just goes to show that voltaic batteries do indeed work. Now, here's some exciting things I want to share with you. If you string two or more lemons together, you can actually create up to 1.5 or more volts, and you can power an alarm clock or a small torch light with it. My goodness. Yes, you can also do this experiment with a little bit of lemon juice if you want to do it just straight liquid without using the lemon. Mm -hmm. And then, um, this same sort of method is used to extract hydrogen. What they do is they use copper as one electrode, they use zinc as another electrode, they use hydrochloric acid as the electrolyte, and that's how they capture hydrogen by upward displacement of water. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Very interesting. Thank you very much. But do you need a lemon though? Yeah, you do need lemon, but it could work with an orange, but lemons are your best bet. Okay. 